Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel and today I have a video for you all. I have my budget beauty buys video and let me just say you guys I have already done this video. I did this video first like two weeks ago and when I look back it just things didn't really work out accordingly so here's the, here's the second so, try at this. To start off I have um, four different items for you guys. Um, all beauty related items and I got them all, well I got um, three of the items from my local big lots and the first item is, the first item would be a set of brushes. These brushes right here, I don't know if you guys can see that so well, but they come in this little bag. These brushes at Big Lots retail for four dollars, right? So it's four makeup brushes, cosmetic brushes, and then there's it. They come with this little cosmetic bag, and at Big Lots it is four dollars. Now about a year and a half ago, I got this same exact brush set from Walmart. This brush set was nine dollars and some change at Walmart. I got the same four brushes but my bag was missing, my pack was missing the cosmetics it's bag. It's clear that when they, they made, when the, when they pack it, packed the brushes in the bag, they forgot to put the bag in it because it was sealed when I bought it from Walmart. And because it has like this um, resealable packaging, you can reseal, you can like close it, it has like a Ziploc closure on it. I thought maybe they was trying to say this could be used as a makeup bag. So. I just, you know, rolled with it. But now, like a year and a half later, I see that I got gypped. I didn't get my makeup bag. But I did find these in Big Lots. These are the same brushes that I got from Walmart. The exact same set, but not the exact same price. But because I really do like this brush, and I'm gonna explain to you guys what kind of brushes they are. This is the contour cheek brush. I like to use this for when I uh, am applying my blush and when I'm applying my contour. Now I have two so I can use one for my contour and one for my blush and they were actually selling this brush separately for like a dollar eighty so if you didn't want to get the whole pack you could just get this brush for a dollar eighty. This brush is the foundation brush so like the painter brush you can apply your foundation with. I don't really like these to apply my foundation. I feel like my foundation gets streaky when I use these. I don't really like them. I like to like use them for like uh, concealer or applying a base. And this is a mini powder brush. And you could just use this to like dust. Like if you're um, setting your under eye concealer or something, you could use this to dust that powder off, especially if you do like the baking method. If you just Put the powder under your eye on your concealer and let it sit or if you do it like down underneath the contour line you can let it sit and bake and then go back and knock it off knock off the excess product with this brush and then this is the concealer brush i will the deluxe concealer brush i love this brush for concealer so out of this set these are probably the three brushes that i use i don't use that painter brush the foundation brush and I kind of don't really use this brush either. I just use these two. I love this for a concealer brush because it's big. So yeah, those are the four brushes that I got. And like I said, I already had a set of these brushes from a year and a half ago, so I already knew that I liked them. Um, I did get my makeup bag, so I did get to get a makeup bag <laughs> for $4. So this was a really good deal. Um, Big Lots, they usually, if you go in there, it's like one of those things where it's sometimes a hit or miss. You can go in there and they usually have name brand stuff. It's usually old, of course, but you can go in there and find it for way cheaper. So you guys, go check your Big Lots. My other two items came from the Dollar Tree and then my last item came from TJ Maxx, I think. So this is what I got from my local Dollar Tree. I got these. And these are the Maybelline Color Tattoo Pigments. Um, they still sell them in the store, I do believe, like in Walmart. 
But I got these from the Dollar Tree, you guys. They had a whole, they had like the orange colors, the pink colors. They had a lot of colors, but because I already have pink, I didn't get them. But these were like two really vibrant colors. This is a green, and the green is in the shade number five, Never Fade Jade. That is really pretty. I have not opened it yet. And this is in the shade, this is number 10, Brash Blue. This is a really, really, really pretty blue. Um, when I, The first time I did the video, I did swatch this, so I will try and swatch it again. It was extremely gorge. What I'll do is, um, let me see if I can, I actually, this is gonna be a pain in the butt. So I'll just insert like a clip from the swatch from the first video that I did. These are just the um, pigments and you can take, if, for those of you who don't know what pigments are, they're just like loose eyeshadow. And what you could do is you could spray your brush with Fix Plus from MAC or like some water or charged water or whatever. Spray your brush brush with it and dip it in the pigment or you can dip it in the pigment first and spray your brush and then apply it to your eyes and it's really going to make the colors pop. That's one of the good things about pigments. Sometimes they, they tend to be a little bit more pigmented and then when you wet them it intensifies the look. And I got those from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. So, and this was the only blue, it was like one blue in there. Yeah, this is the brash blue. It was like one blue. I'm trying to see if I can like get you guys to see the true blue. But it was really pretty. I have not used it yet. Um, I don't know what I'm waiting on, but I can't wait to use it. I think it's gonna be awesome. But anyways, the next thing I got was a nail polish and it was an Essie nail polish. And I don't, excuse me guys, I don't know if you can really tell, but it's like a pretty pink. It is in the shade Pansy. I almost said Peony. It's in the shade Pansy. It's a very, very pretty pink. Um, like I said, I got this from TJ Maxx, I do believe. TJ Maxx or Marshalls. I always get them confused. I'm pretty sure it was it was one of the two. As a matter of fact, I think it was Marshalls, actually. But it is a very pretty pink, and it was only $3.99. So, let's see. Yeah, there it is. And for those of you guys that may not know, um, Essie polishes, they usually run, they usually retail for about $8 and some change. So after tax, they're usually about $9. So especially if you get it from like Ulta or um, Target or even Walmart. So and I'm not sure, I don't think they sell Essie and Sally. But anyways, the daggum stuff is expensive. And I got this from, and like I said, they retail for $8 and some change in like regular beauty stores. And I got this from TJ Maxx, or no, Marshalls for $3.99. So that's like less than half the cost. And then in the local, in like the, um, the exchange, the PX, you can get them for like $6.50. And those are and those are the newer ones. See, like this is probably from like an old. Uh, this is probably from a really really old collection, or or like something that was or like discontinued colors or something like that. As to why they're so inexpensive, but when you go into the PX, they have the same ones that are out right now for like six fifty, and then that's no tax. So you still you know it's still a better buy than going and getting it from Ulta. So. And then I also got another shade, and I think this is kind of old. This was probably in an old collection or a discontinued color, but this is Peach Daiquiri. And it's it's a pink, too. It's kind of like an orangey pink. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's not the same shade. I can tell you that much. They just differ a little bit. And this one is definitely old because it doesn't have the white Essie print on it anywhere. But this one was from Marshalls, and it was $3.99 as well. I love Essie polishes. I love nail polishes, period. I have like so many. Maybe one day I'll go do like a nail polish collection video. Now, I do have a good little amount. And I've been thinking about doing like a nail polish swatch video. So you guys let me know if you're interested in that. But that's all that I got for my budget beauty buys or beauty budget buys or whatever. Child, I can't even remember the name of my own videos. I came up with it. But 
that is the end. That was all that I had to show this time around. Of course, as you guys know, I'm going to be coming back again because I love to um, find deals. I love to find I love to find deals and things at discounted prices, especially beauty products. And I definitely I, I also enjoy sharing them with you guys. Um, as much as I love makeup and cosmetics and beauty stuff, um, I love it even more if I can pay lesser for it. Because sometimes I just feel like things are marked up ridiculously higher than they really should be. We'll definitely come back to you guys. And I do want to apologize. I did miss last week or the week before that, whenever I decide to upload this video, um, I'm actually recording it a week after I missed an upload. I missed last week, it was just a really hard week for me emotionally and mentally, and I was just physically drained. And then because like I said, I use natural lighting, I don't have a ring light, I use soft boxes and then I use natural lighting because soft boxes really don't give good enough lighting in my personal opinion. Um, last week the weather was just so gloomy to where I didn't really have good enough natural lighting and I was going to record yesterday but the sun kept coming in and coming out and coming in and coming out and coming in and coming out and I just couldn't depend on that because I did have to wait to today you guys I'm gonna try so hard to get multiple videos up this week I'm gonna at least try and get two videos up somewhat back to back to make up for me missing last week but it was just a really really hard week See, sometimes, sometimes I, I just get exhausted mentally and it's really hard everybody doesn't understand what goes into making these videos it takes a lot of time and effort and when you're just physically drained and mentally drained and you have a family is it just is not always a priority but I really do enjoy making these videos and I'm going to continue to make Thanks them. Thanks so much for watching. If, I, if you enjoyed this video, if you enjoy my Budget Beauty Buy videos, then be sure to thumbs up, click the little thumbs up down below, um, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to comment. Um, when you guys, for those of you guys who don't know, sub subscribing costs no money. This is not like magazine subscriptions or anything. It's just when you click that button, you kind of join my little world. And so every time I upload a new video, you will get a notification and you will know. And and then I can also see who's supporting don't me. And I all click that button, you know what I'm saying? Because it ain't like you're going to have to pay any money. And you know I'm all about the free or the budget or the cheap or the whatever. I'm all about it. So thank you so much for watching. And until next time, you guys, be beautiful. And I will see you soon.